Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I want to continue the discussion on some of the survey I did. The second most challenge for most people who want to improve their career are they don't have time and energy to do it. Before I give you some tips on how to get time and energy for your career improvements, let me share a personal story. When I get my first job in Portland, Oregon, after work, I usually will lay down on the sofa to watch my favorite TV or play some video games. Time passes really quickly. Usually, when I realize it's already late in the light, around 12 o'clock, then I will rush to bed and prepare for my second day at work. So when people talking about they don't have time, what are they exactly talking about? Because all of us have 24 hours a day. What do they mean they don't have time? My understanding is they usually don't know what their goal, a lack of motivation, and also they don't know how to prioritize their tasks. So. If you have watched some of my video earlier, I have one specific video talk about how to make time. Next, I'm gonna talk about energy. When people talk about they don't have energy to do things, it could mean that they are tired or could be a lack of motivation. So we need to address these two separately. If it's a lack of motivation, then you need to really to find out what motivates you. But here, I'm going to talk about more of the general tiredness that we all feel at a certain time of the day. Tip number one to increase your energy. Exercise regularly. I personally start to run or exercise daily after the pandemic. And also, I heard Dr. Fauci, even at his age, he's very energetic because he exercises a lot. So. It's not hard for you to search around. You will see a lot of people who are highly energized do exercise regularly. Tip number two, sleep regularly and find out your sleep cycle. Most of us have sleeping cycles that each cycle takes about 90 minutes. It explains for some people who they sleep six hours, which is four cycles, will feel much better than someone sleep longer, let's say eight hours, but it's not a full cycle because five cycle is about 7.5 hours. It will be more important to complete full sleep cycle than just sleep longer. Personally, I have been bothered by this a lot because someday I will try to sleep longer during the weekend, but I don't feel more energized or refreshed when I get up just because I don't follow my sleep cycles. Tip number three, meditation. That's something I was doing regularly recently. The reason that you need to have a peaceful time with yourself is to calm down and to really be with yourself. You need to be mindful of some of the feeling thoughts. A lot of the cases that you feel tired because you just consume too much energy wandering on some of the thought. If you can stay still and practice mindfulness, you will also get a fresh energy. The last but not least, drink less coffee. I know a lot of people who feel tired will go to grab a coffee. Personally, I'm not a fan of coffee because what it does is to delay the tiredness. It's not going to fully eliminate. You have to get enough sleep or sleep cycles to boost your energy. Coffee just delays the tiredness. At some point, it's going to accumulate and come back at a more intense situation. If you want to find a long-term strategy to boost up your energy, don't rely on coffee. Okay, that's conclude all the tips I want to share with you today. Leave down your comments if you feel any tips that are gonna help for to you. Also, I did a lot of survey to understand what are some of the biggest challenges for people at work who wants to improve their career or transform their careers. So if you have your specific questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. And I wish you a beautiful day. See you next time.